of plow, uh, reaping and sowing, plowing, gathering. That's 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 why the Apostle Paul said, in season and out of season. He said you got to still plant spiritual plant in season and out of season. So we've been diligent, man. And my my mindset, I'm not diligent as, as much as as much as I think I'm diligent. I'm, I should be more diligent. So you guys, you guys out there, that's in GMS. You better you better be you better you you better be in the spirit of you know you better be in that running spirit like the Apostle Paul said. So run I, right? To win to win that crown, which is a incorruptible crown, not beating the wind. When you out there teaching, you got to teach sound doctrine. You don't just quote scriptures and you don't know what they mean. Anything that we say, we saying it from the heart, through the scriptures, by we believe, through the how about Shem, how shy. And we're giving you things that are relevant to your livelihood, meaning to your ass getting saved and not taking a chip. Like I said, Watch the faces on all these different guys from all these different camps, including the Wi-Fi. Watch all these because we're gonna have a party. We're gonna have a party when they when they break breaking news, breaking news, you gotta take it or you ain't gonna work, you ain't gonna get no gas in your car. Or we're gonna evict you from your apartments because you don't you, I pay I'm a pay rent. I said we don't accept dollars no more. You need the chip. You got to get the chip back. <laughs> Inside joke, the boys cracking up. But anyway, um, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna close. I'm gonna shut the hell up. Anyway, let me go. You gotta read this whole chapter. A lot of information in it, but I'm gonna read this here from the 10th verse to the 15th verse, and I'll close. It says, Wherefore, the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if ye do these things, meaning give diligence, you on fire about this thing, you're not lukewarm or cold, ye shall never fall. Now, when I used to have the camp, back at one was I had like 50, anywhere from 50 to 51, 52 brothers. And we used to have a class before we went out to camp, because we got out, we had, to, we had to meet, I think it was 10 or 12 in the afternoon. Then we have an hour class and we shoot down to the camp, we'll be out there all day. And um, so I had the class and um, I would always open it up with uh, Revelation 3 verse 15. So I'd say to certain brothers, again, you know what scripture I want? And, you, and I would look at the audience, the 50, 52 brothers and certain guys would cringe and ball up look at me like they want to bite my head off and um and them guys even brought me to council about you know i remember one samak vine that that demon samak vine and there was others a zombie vine that was another one uh all of them yum yum myla uh, there was so many they had brought they had brought me to council to Lahav, and Lahav is the black demon, so he brought me to the demon, Lahav. But Lahav ain't the worst guy in the world. I ran into him a couple of times, you know. Even though we were going at it, I kind of happy to see him. You know, I hope that most I deliver him. Because when he was good, when he was on the, the right, you know, he basically that star Vader when he was righteous, when he was Anakin Skywalker. So you had Anakin and then you had Darth Vader. That's Darth, he's Darth Vader now. He used to be Anakin. <laughs> but anyway, So I said, well, if there's spiritual flux swords flying at you, that means you ain't right. Cause it ain't everybody. Cause the guys that are that are that are, that are, that are uh, diligent, they don't. They didn't say that. They didn't say that. You guys said, it. cause you ain't doing the right thing. And guess what? And guess what? Guess the f what? Everybody in that room 
except for two people, one back into the world. And they're gonna get the chip if they're still living to this day. And they're gonna and they're gonna get dipped. And two people. Apostle Gabar, because Apostle uh, Ryan Ma was at uh, uh, he was in the Brooklyn camp at that time, which is the camp that me and Bob put together in Ariala and we moved on. And uh so yeah, Apostle Gabar and the bishop! Bishop Netanyahu got all the rest of them guys, all the rest of them guys, and 50, they all went back into the world. They all watching our videos, but they ain't saying who, who they are. But they, a lot of them curses out, and, you know, scoffers, a lot of them with them niggas. So every last one of you that turn your back on the plow, you are, you and your families, you will take the karagma and you will die, and you will eat a missile if you make it that far. If, if, if you don't starve to death, just hope that you drop, slip on the banana pill, get struck by lightning, you know, a building fall on your ass, and run over by 18 wheels, or better yet, get run over by a fucking train, die a heart attack, stroke the fuck out, let somebody pop you in the head, let somebody whip your head, boy. So that way, you don't have to taste the missiles. You don't want to taste the missiles. You don't want to bust that shit. <laughs> I'm having a little fun here. Gotta have a little levity. If you know what I'm talking about, y'all y'all look good. My apostle Ron Block know what I'm talking about. You don't want to bust that shit. And the Mosai is going to bust that shit. He's going to bust a cap in your ass, which is the ICBM missiles. So you got, look, I'm, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I've been doing it. I ain't stopped. Almost four, a few years shy of 40 years. I came in when I was a kid. When I was a young man in my 20s. I'm still doing it, man. That's the way you got to be. You got to be on fire. The Most High does not accept anything except being on fire. 100% or nothing. 99% just won't do. Got to have 100 that's a famous song. So let me read on. 